You see this keyboard? We don't need it. Because today we're going to be making a Roblox game without typing. Now, how is that possible? Well, the plan is to use my voice. That's right, I'm going to be writing code by speaking and hopefully be making a full game with that. This should be interesting. Now, this isn't as easy as you might think. To make this work, the first thing I tried was just using the speech to text that's already on my computer, but that don't work too well. Local player equals game dot players dot local player. Bro, what? So we needed to try something else, something that is able to convert English into the coding language Lua. And after finding nothing that could do that for me, I realized I would just have to make it myself, but I'm an idiot. So instead I asked my discord server and this absolute genius ducky pulled through. He put it together and walked me through how to set it up. He really clutched up here. I mean, everyone comment ducky's the goat down below. Big thank you to him. And with his help, we now have it working. But first I have a huge announcement. Zionic.shop, the place where you can find high quality Roblox assets that are easy to set up and customizable. They will level up your game. All made by me and a team of experienced developers, we put together a collection of the most helpful assets. Whether you're a new developer or you're a pro, there is something there for you. And it's all super, super cheap. But it gets even crazier because if you go to the shop now, you can use code first to get 10% off any purchase. So please go check out the website where you can also find a free free model pack just as a little giveaway for you guys and yeah i'm super excited for this store i've been working on it for a while and we're gonna keep growing and improving it so your support means everything to me okay sorry back to the video local part equals workspace dot part translate it bang uh we add line we add line we make sure we have selected our script which has nothing in it nothing's here exit out of there sync changes Open it up and bang, bang. I don't know why I just rolled away. It works. <laughs> I'm really hyped about this because it took a long time to figure out and, and get working. But anyways, we are gonna be making a game with this. Now, what game? Well, if you couldn't already tell, this isn't the most efficient way to <laughs> script a game. So we're gonna be going with something pretty simple. Uh, I'm gonna do one of those like spleef or like fall block games. I don't know if you've seen them. That should be pretty achievable and fun. So let's get started with that. All right, so to start, the base plate's gonna be our lobby sort of, and I wanna make it so you can like see through it. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert a part I'll make it four by one by four. I reckon should work. What we want to be able to do is spawn these in every round in like like rows, sort of. So we have to code that, which means we have to speak. <laughs> Local part equals server storage dot part. Translate it up. Boom. Add line. Sync changes. Boom. We got that working. Uh, let's toss our part into server storage. And next up, I'm gonna make our while loop for our round system. Get the man started up. Uh, while true do task dot wait one end. Bro, oh, this thing actually is insane. Uh, add line. All right. Um, why is there two? We're also gonna have to delete that. I think what I'm gonna have to do for this is I'm gonna say I cannot type at all, but I am allowed to delete things and I am allowed to like move things around just because anything else that i add into this script is just gonna end up down here so i'll be able to add new things here and just like move them up here back to coding and i have a big one here to do <clears throat> whoa um i honestly can't tell there's so much there add line okay could this be perfect bro wait let's try that out let's try that out let's see if that actually works Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's very laggy, but <laughs> look at that. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now it's time for me to get to work making sure when you touch the parts that you fall through and making people spawn in. Let's go. New part dot transparency equals if v dot character then no ah not redoing the whole thing again bro. All right, so the game's looking good. We've definitely had some struggles and redos and the AI sometimes for no reason just kind of breaks entirely and gives me something completely random. 
but you know it's actually going really well i have a working game let's let's go check it out we spawn in i still don't know what that is that's from the plugin um we wait a few seconds as you can see the map spawns in beautifully and stuff breaks behind us so it's not fully done yet but once we're done i'm gonna have my whole server hop in here and we're gonna play test it that should be chaos but before we do that i want to add leader stats now something cool about this is that it is an ai so what we can do is we can just tell it to make us something we don't even have to speak it out word for word so let's try that um code me a function that creates a leader stats folder and a wins value stored inside of it that all players get. Translate that. Okay, I, I can't even read that from there. It's kind of hard to read. Let's see if that works. Sync changes. Okay, um, looks like this right here is all that we need. I'm just gonna take this. I don't wanna put it right there. I definitely didn't just press enter and bang. Also close your eyes, boom. <laughs> Just like that, we have our wins. We're gonna have to make it give you wins whenever you uh, you win, which we're gonna do in a minute. But before we do that, I want to create a UI. All right, so what this UI is going to do is it's going to display like what's happening, how many seconds are left, who won, is there a winner, all that good stuff. Every round based game needs one for sure. And it's also gonna make us have to use more than just one script. We'll have to create a local script. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up this game and I'll check back in with you guys once I'm all finished, done, and we're ready to play test it. All right guys, so our game is all finished, it's all done. Uh, this is what our code's looking like. We added everything from wins to our UI and all of that, which we're gonna go check out right now. I'm gonna go hop in the game and ping my whole entire server and see what happens. <laughs> All right, here we have some people in the game. Uh, how everyone, everyone's asking how I did it without typing. All right, here we go. Game starting. Let's try not to die here. Uh oh. My own little island over here. Oh no, get away. Get away. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> no. All right, looks like everyone's just cheating down there, I guess. This is this is great. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and go check out zionic.shop. Use code FIRST, and yeah, bye.